Welcome all to Eat, Drink, and Explore with Cece. Today we are making a quick dessert. I am definitely using items that are available in the grocery store for to put it quickly together. Last minute guests coming over decided to make a quick uh, mock English trifle, but I am making it with uh, limoncello and a beautiful pound cake, some strawberries, some raspberries, some mint, and I'm using uh, lemon pudding instead of a vanilla. Um, instead of doing a vanilla custard, I'm using or using a vanilla pudding. I'm using the uh, lemon the, the lemon pudding, and I have some lemon curd in here, and I'm using some wonderful uh, French strawberry jam, and I'll macerate some raspberries as well, and we have a little bit of vanilla extract that I'll add to the uh, lemon pudding that we make, and about a tablespoon and a half of sugar that I'll macerate the, the raspberries on, but I am not going to put all of it in. I'm just going to measure it as we go, and I have some nice, mm, this smells so nice, um, fresh mint for decoration on that part. So. Let's go ahead and um, start uh, putting everything together. And what I decided to do is I decided to use the either an old fashioned uh, glass or a smaller uh, glass like this. Uh, I usually drop, uh, you know, tea lights in here, but it's washed, it's clean. It will be a perfect uh, vessel as well. I haven't decided which ones I'm going to be using instead of making a big trifle dish. And uh, it's a small, it's a small, um, group of people getting together, so thought I'd make something quick and individual as we go. Just following the directions of the Jello, two cups of cold milk to one package. And the idea here is to whisk it together, let it sit to firm up, and then once it's firm, then we'll use that in our layering uh, process. Little splash of vanilla. Me. I'm gonna just do a little bit more, just to balance out the lemon. Perfect. So that probably did a half a teaspoon. And I just quickly whisk it just to make sure there's no lumps. I'm set this aside. I love this bowl. It is an antique. <laughs> um, and what I love about it is you can pour out of there or you pour out of there. It's so nice got it as a as a present and there are three in the set and it's the old 1960s uh, Pyrex so you see how it's starting to thicken up perfect so we'll set that aside and so what we're now going to do is we're going to take the raspberries and I am actually going to save a couple of the raspberries for the top. Awesome. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of sugar. And this is called macerating, is where I want to extract some of the juice out of the raspberries. And I'm just going to do a little splash. How much raspberries have I used here? It's those uh, eight ounce um, plant packs that you can get in the grocery store. And I'm just gonna mush. Just gonna mush this down. Mm, you can smell that limoncello, wonderful. All right, we'll leave that aside. All right, and we are now going to figure out what we're gonna do with this pound cake. So these were the two containers. Let's move that aside. That aside. So these are the two containers. 
and I needed something circular. So I looked at my measuring cups and tried to figure out what size would fit perfectly. So it looks like that one and then this one. Yeah, so that's my half a cup. This one's my third of a cup. And this is a quarter of a cup. Is just slice this. You want to slice it as thick of a layers that you that you really want. I always kind of like do it like that. I mean, you could definitely have made your own cake. You could have uh, used angel food cake. You could have. I'm just using golden pound. Um, I mean, the British when they make their um, English trifle, they'll either use something called a Madeira cake. So let's start with this. And let's see how this goes. So I'll just pop it. And then I just press down. Don't uh, get rid of this because we'll eventually use those bits. Perfect. And you just drop it in. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get a tray and I'm going to make a bunch of these and then I'm going to sprinkle limoncello on it. I'll come back to it when I have it all laid out. So ideally, what you want to do is you want to do your thickest layer at the bottom, because that's going to hold, that's the foundation of the dessert, that will hold everything. And then we'll put, we'll use these bits as we build the layers. So what's so fun about trifle is that it's all about layers and you can play around with how it looks and things like that. And just give the lemon pudding a stir. So you see it's thickening up. So I just want to stir it again. I don't want it to get too thick because I want to be able to pour that, put that into the containers. Okay. And now I'm going to sprinkle and I'm gonna take some of these bits and I'm gonna put them also on the tray. And so then we just sprinkle a little bit of limoncello on it, just so that it can soak it up and have that beautiful flavor in there. A nice, elegant dessert that's really easy to make. And especially if you don't have time to bake, you can easily buy the stuff in the store like I did and um, put them all together. And I'll run down uh, the different things that I picked up as we go through this recipe. So just let that sit for a few minutes, put that aside. And so what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some of the strawberries on these beautiful strawberries. Can't wait for the summer, pick this up. And I was like, the smell of it just reminds me of summer. Now, what I did is I got these nice big ones. I decided that I wanted nice big ones because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to layer them up around the outside of the, the glass. It'll take less strawberries to go around the circle. So let's just cut that. That looks so pretty. And we just want to start Strawberries are definitely one of my favorite summertime fruits is here. Just do a few. Helps to have a nice sharp knife, utility knife. And also these uh, strawberries are not soft. They're nice and firm. You don't want to use ripe, very, very ripe strawberries just because this doesn't work. All right, we'll do one more. And then as I need more, I'll just cut more um, as we go. So I'll do one more. Oh, well. That one doesn't quite work out, so I'm eating it. Mm-hmm. Mm. So flavorful, I should say. Oh, that's so nice. All right, so what are we gonna do with the strawberry jam? So what I'm gonna do here is 
I love using this French, this this French uh, strawberry jam. Just picked it up at my um, local grocery store. Is that it's not too sweet, and it has like pieces of it. It just uh, I always like to taste it as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds just to make it more liquid, and I'm gonna uh, uh, squeeze a little bit of lemon. All right, and then I'm just going to have a lemon. So here's an, an older lemon. Doesn't look very good from the presentation standpoint, but the juice is still the same. I can still use the juice. I'm just doing a quick little squeeze. Perfect. Just stir that around. Again, this is all about flavor. And you know me, I love to build on flavor. So I added the extra vanilla for there. I'm adding the lemon in here. Got the lemon cello here. So it is going to be a lemon bomb when we're going to eat this. Alrighty. So see, they're all nice and soaked. They're not too soft. You want to be careful. You don't want to oversaturate it with the alcohol. And that's another reason why I also make it fairly large in here is so that I can pick them up and I can slide them into the glass without any problem. And doesn't that look like some lovely lemon curd? Oh, I'm so grateful that um, lemon curd is now available in stores. Um, one day I'll make a recipe a video for you guys on lemon curd, but since I didn't have time to do it, this is how I'm putting it together. And this tastes amazing. I want you to see the consistency. Now, because I put I put in the lemon and I also did 30 seconds, it's now that I can drizzle that into the glass. So we've got our components all ready to go. I'm not even whipping cream. I'm just using ready-made dessert toppers. Okay, so I'm gonna put, assemble one of them with you and then I'll go assemble the rest and then we'll come back. So first thing I'm gonna do is drop this one down. Look at that. That's. Mm hmm. Oh, chef's licking that afterwards. So, what I'm going to do is layer. Now, why did I decide to use the, the lemon pudding? Because that's in place of the custard. And then the lemon curd is definitely, you could definitely have replaced this just with the lemon curd, but I would have found that that would have been just a little too strong. Also, I would have found that um, it's not, it's not as soft and liquidy and forgiving. So I'm going to have to sort of plop that, you know, plop that in, right? So I wanted something to be a little bit more gooey in there. And here's the raspberries. Now, if you didn't have my raspberries, you could replace this with blueberries, blackberries, kiwis, any type of fruit um, that you want. Um, I've even done it with mangoes and pineapple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a layer of this in. Just a little. You don't need to do a lot. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of the strawberry jam. Because that will sweeten that layer up. And now I'm just add in, oops. Got to get rid of that green. Just add in the strawberries along the side and sort of drop it in. I mean, this is, and just have the strawberries go all in the same direction. Just looks prettier. Again, that's my opinion. Everyone, you be your, you be you, you be creative. Oh, I really ru ruined that one. Oops. 
Vamos Let's see if you guys can see what I'm doing here. Just dropping it in. It also helps to bring down the lemon pudding or the custard, however you decide to make. Just push that down. Oh, and then I've got a little piece in there. So what I'll do is I'll take the one that didn't quite work out and I'm gonna drop it in this way. Drop it in, going this way. There we go. Perfect, use your fingers. And what I love about a trifle is it doesn't have to be 100% perfect because people assume it to be a little bit messy um, on that side of it. Now, normally trifle was made with leftover stuff. It's something that you made when you had leftover cake, you had some fruit that was just a little not perfect. And so they made it this way. I love this. It's, you can make really big containers of this. It's a great um, gathering type of uh, dessert. Make a big one and then it can feed an army. So. Good. See, now I see the lemon curd. So now I'm just going to drop that in. Kind of do it on the top layer. Try to squish it. Okay. And now I'm going to add in the strawberry jam. Just let it ooze all the way down. Oh, I love color. These colors are so exciting together. Now I'm gonna top it up with some of the lemon pudding. And then you wanna decorate it. So, okay. Like a small. And I'm gonna add a couple of mint leaves. Voila. Oh, doesn't that look scrumptious? Look at that. Oops, we gotta add in a little bit here. It's perfect. So I'm gonna do uh, the rest of them and I'll put them in the fridge and they're ready for dinner. That's how quickly it is. So let me get to the others. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed this video on this lemon balm of yumminess that I got inspiration from an English trifle. If you have found this helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really lets me know you're enjoying the content. If you are new to the channel, welcome on board. Hit that subscribe button to join the community and never miss any future videos. For those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Your viewership and comments are what keeps this channel going and it also helps the YouTube algorithm show my content and promote it across, across to more awesome enthusiasts like yourselves. Speaking of comments, if you have any questions, thoughts, ideas, or for future videos, leave them down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comment section. Thank you once again for joining me today. Until next time, ciao for now. So just and use para half a cup. Oh, wow. I should call the channel the messy kitchen. Definitely made a mess there. All right, let's clean that up. Clean as you go.